You're listening to the ABC from the Second Network. The time, 7 o'clock. This is the news from the ABC, read by Paul McClive. Here are the headlines. Storms and near-record falls of snow have caused widespread disruption of services in New South Wales. The Minister for Civil Aviation has denied departing from normal practice in a new regulation taking over responsibility for aircraft imports. The latest space achievements have still left unanswered the question of the so-called canals on Mars and the size of Russia's new booster rocket. The people of much of New South Wales are still feeling the effects of one of the worst winter days they've ever known. Howling winds, near record falls of snow, rain, hail and low temperatures. In the vicious blast of winter, highways and other roads have been blocked, rail and air services disrupted, cars and buses stranded and essential services cut off in many centres, including Sydney. Mountain areas within 100 miles of Sydney have had their heaviest snow in more than 60 years. Residents of some places have never seen it there before. A huge area of high country from the Victorian border to north of the Blue Mountains west of Sydney and in the central west is under a mantle of snow. Hornsby, an outer suburb of Sydney, had a light fall of snow for the first time in 128 years. There have been other falls as far northwest as Gunnedah, 300 miles from Sydney. The city of Lithgow, on the western fringe of the Blue Mountains, seems to have borne the brunt of the cold blast. The snowfall there is said to be one of the heaviest this century. Most of Lithgow has been without electricity and telephone services for 24 hours, and domestic services, including newspaper and milk deliveries, have been stopped. The only conveyances allowed to move in the city are four-wheel drive vehicles commandeered by police and civil defence authorities for emergency use. On every highway within 20 miles of Lithgow, cars and trucks have been abandoned. Authorities in the city, about 90 miles west of Sydney, say the snow is a foot to two feet deep over a wide area with drifts of up to 10 and 12 feet outside the municipality. They expect Lithgow to be cut off for several days if the snow continues to fall. For the first time in many years, the main western railway over the Blue Mountains was closed on two occasions today. Railwomen said huge snowdrifts had blocked the line and the icy conditions had caused points to freeze. Among roads blocked today were the Great Western Highway at Mount Victoria and the Hume Highway at Berrimer. In the grazing lands of New South Wales, mobs of sheep have been trapped by deep snowdrifts. Already some stock has been lost and more losses are expected. In Sydney, after a wild, wet and windy morning, the temperature at noon was 44 degrees, the lowest midday reading on record. And here's a late message. A man was killed by an electric shock while playing in the snow this afternoon near Bilpin, a village in the Blue Mountains. Onlooker said an overhead power line broke and fell on him. He died instantly. His name has not yet been released. Now for New South Wales listeners, here is a further report on the weather situation. First, the general picture. The snowfalls on the central tablelands and adjacent districts, including areas near the coast during the past 24 hours, are described by the Weather Bureau as among the most widespread on record. There's been heavy rain, thunderstorms, hail and severe winds on the central and Illawarra coasts. The snowfalls have been as far north as Scone and Murrurundi and as far northwest as Gunnedah, as far west as Coonabarabran, as well as south to the Snowy Mountains. In the Blue Mountains, Mount Victoria had 11 inches on the ground. And our reports in more detail from various areas. Lithgow. Civil Defence and police have taken command to meet the emergency caused by one of the heaviest snowfalls since 1900. The ABC's correspondent trudged a mile through snow to find a phone in working condition. He reported that most sections of the city have now been without telephone and electricity services for 24 hours. In most homes, the only sources of news are transistor or battery radios. 
The authorities have commandeered all four-wheel drive vehicles in the area and are using them for emergency transport. Graders have been at work trying to keep sections of the main arterial roads open. In some sections of Lithgow, portions of roofs of homes have begun to collapse under the weight of snow and throughout the district, limbs are snapping from trees with a sound like cannon fire. Most domestic services, including newspaper and milk deliveries, have been held up. The Blue Mountains. The snow started late yesterday afternoon and has fallen almost continuously since. Temperatures have remained extremely low. At Mount Victoria, the official noon reading was 22 degrees. Katoomba police have been snowbound. The snow has brought down power lines in Katoomba and in Lura nearby. Homes have been without power since 7 o'clock this morning. Throughout the day, emergency gangs have been working in Sydney suburbs affected by power failures. The worst breakdown was in the Roseville and the Spit area where power supplies were interrupted for half an hour. This evening, the position is greatly improved. Some northern suburbs of Sydney had heavy hailstorms. The Weather Bureau reported wind squalls up to 52 knots in Sydney, the strongest just before 6 o'clock last night. Bowral and Robertson. County Council linesmen are still working tonight to restore electricity supplies to a wide area of the southern tablelands. The district was without power from early last night until midday. Telephone services are still out over much of the southern tablelands. Now a brief report on road conditions on the major highways affected. The Great Western Highway between Lithgow and Bathurst is under three feet of snow in some places and is hopelessly blocked. The Bell-Lithgow Road is also blocked but should be cleared by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. There's a police roadblock at Springwood on the Great Western Highway. People living beyond Springwood are the only motorists being allowed through. Sightseers in hundreds have caused a major traffic problem between Sydney and Springwood. And the Hume Highway, the road from Berrimah to Mittagong is open but there's a heavy traffic blockage. Some vehicles have been banked up there for up to five hours. Railways. The Western Railway line was closed twice today between Springwood and Lithgow. It's now open again, but it's expected that trains will be able to travel at only low speeds and timetables are likely to be disrupted. Finally, the weather forecasts for tonight and tomorrow. For Sydney, showers, cold, squally winds, mainly southerly, rough seas. Forecast city temperature range 43 to 55, Liverpool 40 to 55. For New South Wales, further rain or showers over eastern, central and northeastern districts with snowfalls on the tablelands. Cold south to southeast winds, strong and squally on the central and Illawarra coasts with rough seas. And that ends this news broadcast from the ABC.